Well, we have nipped into our Studio 2 for the end of the programme because we're finishing tonight with a bit of a bang, or at least a whoosh. Yeah, it's been a few years since we had scientist Mark Thompson on the programme, but he's regularly on television and touring the country with his family science shows. Delighted to say he's with us now. Hello, how really are you? Really nice to see you it's again, great to be Mark. here again. And I'm so glad you brought bits and bobs with you. Yes. It looks a bit messy, which, which is why they wouldn't allow you in the posh studio. Do you know, it could have been a lot worse. I've got some <laughs> other stuff that can really make a mess, but this is, this is fairly moderate. So, but I can understand why you put me out here. Safer, isn't it? Exactly. Yes. Now, you're back in the local area. Tell us why. Yeah, so I've been touring the show uh, around the country and it's been going down so well with kids across the country. Uh, so I'm very passionate about getting kids interested in science. And I got interested in science when I was about 10 years old, saw Saturn, got really excited about it. So when the local school asked me if I'd be interested in doing a show for a fundraiser and to get the local kids interested, then yeah, of course, it's a great opportunity. This is a, this is a chemical which some people might be familiar with. It's called hydrogen peroxide. No. And it's used for <laughs> removing you, colour textures, hair, isn't it? <laughs> and, uh, and equally, I've had a few uh, near yeah. misses with, with the stuff. But this has got um, hydrogen and oxygen molecules inside it. So it's, it's got the same chemical makeup as water. So what we're going to do is we're going to perform a chemical reaction with the hydrogen peroxide. I must put these uh, safety bits and pieces on. Should we step back a bit? You're fine at the moment, okay. but uh, we're going to pour some of this hydrogen peroxide inside this large container and we're going to perform a chemical reaction. And this reaction is going to be performed by adding some of this stuff, which is called manganese dioxide, mm -hmm. into the hydrogen peroxide, which releases all the water molecules and you'll get a wonderful steam uh, or jet of steam coming out of the top of the beaker. So if you want to stand back, okay. we'll give it a go. Are we ready for this? <laughs> yes. Do you want to give me a countdown? Three, two, one. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Isn't oh that gosh. wonderful? And that's just nature that's provided. That's them. just nature, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, I can do those things that perhaps primary schools can't do because they've got the training, yeah. uh, all the resources. Uh, and let's face it, you know, for fireballs, not going to get you excited about it for science. What is? You know, so that's exactly. what I like doing the big, 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 bold stuff. Yeah. Well, I know that the, uh, the, the children at uh, Albra and Denton Primary School are very much looking forward to seeing that and uh, other experiments when you go along. Earlier, we popped in to uh, talk to them and they told us just what they like about science. I like, my best bit is like when I get to experiment and like see what happens. I love, I love asking questions about how the world works and I also, and my favourite part of science is shadows. It makes me feel happy because I get to experiment things. Oh, and they really do love science at that Very school. Although we didn't get them on camera, your children go to they the school, do. don't they? They do, and of course they love science. I, I, I've, they've seen these things so many times, but yeah, they love it. it must be such fun in your house. Dad's I think home! They're, I think they're a bit fed up with it now, because they sit <laughs> so often, always blowing things up. Blowing yeah. things up. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty <laughs> standard, pretty standard nowadays. But this is your thing, isn't it, to make science accessible and fun to all? Yeah, it is, uh, and I like to do I like to do science with things that you might find around the home. Some of the things I do, of course, you can't repeat at home, but some of the things you can. And when you could do science with items which people are familiar with, yeah. then, you know, it resonates a little bit more with them. Like glow sticks. Like glow which sticks. Which all kids love. Wonderful little link there. Yeah, so these are because <laughs> of glow sticks, which I'm sure you're very familiar with when you mm. go to parties. What happens with a glow stick? Two chemicals mix. A process called chemiluminescence takes place, which is where chemicals will give off light, or more likely the atoms will give off light, and you see the glow from the glow sticks. And mm -hmm. I've got some of the chemicals down here that I've actually managed to get out of the glow sticks. Uh, and I thought it would be quite fun if we just add them together and see the reaction right in see front of us. Okay. So we ought to have the lights down a bit? If yeah, we could, let's, let's kill the lights uh, and, and see what happens. So these are two chemicals inside a green glow stick. And as you'll see, when I add the chemicals together, there is a rather wonderful glow, which suddenly starts to appear. You can oh, see yes. that. Look at that. If I hold yeah. it there, just like that, you can see that rather wonderful glow. And so that's chemiluminescence. Like that's actually, <laughs> it is, isn't it? It looks wonderful. And that will glow for hours. Yeah. Um, and it, you know, the stuff's actually pretty safe. It's not, it's not that dangerous stuff inside there, but not to suggest people should start messing around glow sticks. Don't, don't yeah. start, because yeah. you know, there's glass inside there and it can yeah. be a little bit dangerous. But it's a wonderful process. Again, nature's done that for us. Lovely. It's a natural process and we can see it there. Incredible. Has anything ever gone really wrong with one of your experiences? Not really wrong, no. <laughs> I mean, it's the, probably the biggest... <laughs> I the word really, though. Probably, yes. the, biggest, <laughs> so the biggest challenge I've ever had is things not working. Right. Because, you know, during yeah. the show, I do 12 to 15 demonstrations of some sorts. Um, and sometimes things just don't work as you expect them to. Uh, and that's quite frustrating because you, know, you sort of build something up to be this wonderful experience mm. uh, and then one of them just doesn't work and it's, oh, no, but th that's kind of part of the fun of it, you know, yeah. a bit of bit of live jeopardy, you know, a live show is what you want to see, isn't it? Yeah. You know? It must so, be so rewarding though, I mean, we got a taste of it from the children there, but you see all those expectant faces looking up you, wide eyes yeah. as these things happen. And you know what, I think secretly the parents love it as well <laughs> because, you know, it's a show that's designed as a kid science show, 
to get kids interested in science. Um, but of course, parents come along, yeah, a fireball, a you know, massive great jet of foam shooting out the top. Of, who doesn't like that, you know? So yeah, yeah. I think the parents get like that as well. I know they do, uh, and the kids will love it at the weekend. I uh, hope it's so. Lovely I hope to so. see you again. Thank you for bringing in all your little. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah.